Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for April 10th to the 20th. For April 10th to the 14th, um, the pattern hasn't changed very much since yesterday. We still have a ridge here near the Aleutians. Upper low here across Alaska with a trough extending down to the, off the northwest. And we have below normal heights near Greenland. And we have a zone of float above normal heights across the country. And we're going to have a nearly zone of flow. And um, this will bring above normal temperatures to much of the country. Now, um, we're going to look at the surface. We will have this, um, we'll go back here a little bit, a low that will be developing here along the Gulf Coast. And you can see it here, and uh, upper low and surface reflection here. Um, this will bring some heavy rainfall to the Gulf Coast. And we'll look at the one day um, Eero from the um, NCEP office. And you can see the slight risk of heavy rainfall here. And we'll take a look at the rainfall amounts. Let's see if I can get um, the rainfall amounts here. This is what the, um, the GFS shows. We have some amounts here approaching over an inch, and this is already an area of um, soggy weather, soggy ground across that has received heavy rainfall in the last several days. And then we'll take a look at the um, the NAM, and that brings a low developing sooner and brings it off the southeast coast. But uh, if we look at the NAM, uh, the GFS amounts, the low, or we'll go back here to the other maps. Uh, I'm getting confused now. We'll look at the GFS. Uh, I think it develops a low later. It has a low down here later across um, over um, during tomorrow and bring heavy rainfall to the north. Um, we have to watch this because um, of the, uh, okay, uh, wait a minute, I have to go back a little bit. Uh, during this period also, okay, I want to talk, this is what I want to talk about. The flow will be coming a little more blocky as um, we have a ridge over the four corners and the upper low uh, that will be developing um, along the Gulf Coast will cause a blocky pattern across um, the East Central states. And that has to be watched for um, any implications on the weather um, going into um, next week. But um, above normal temperatures are forecast from the, north, uh, from the Northern Plains to the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. Okay, we're going to look at the period now for April 15th to the 19th. And again, the flow remains unchanged. Upper ridge here near the Aleutians trough. Zone of flow below normal heights. And uh, we have mixed height anomalies across the Arctic region. So um, for this forecast period, I'm calling for uh, below normal temperatures here with anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees. Below normal, above normal temperatures here with anomalies of 4 to 8 degrees. Above normal and for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here for a bunch of the West. And probability of occurrence is 35%. And then we have a chance of above normal precipitation for the Southeast. And the probability of occurrence is 35%. Now getting uh, into the next period, um, this is what I want to go. This would be for the 20th to the 24th. And again, Ridge, Trough, ridge above normal heights, zone of flow, below normal heights here across the North Atlantic. But if you notice here what the GFS does, it brings the trough into the Northeast. This, this could happen, but you notice the other models are showing more of the same. Because this could happen because if you look at what's going on over in Europe in this time frame, we have a trough here developed across Europe. And that usually translates to a trough in the east. So um, for now, I am calling for 
below normal temperatures here and we're calling for anomalies to be about four to six degrees below normal above normal temperatures here with anomalies of four to eight degrees above normal and for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here and generally from the mississippi valley to the atlantic coast and the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent and going back to the heavy rainfall uh, across um, the Gulf Coast, maybe from Texas. We'll take a look at the uh, latest um, radar. Is it going to... Oh, I'm on the wrong map. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you can see we have heavy rainfall occurring here. No watches are warning. Well, we have a flood warning here that's in effect until 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. And we have flood advising and everything all across this region here due to heavy rainfall. So this is something to watch over the next uh, over the next uh, one to two days. Okay, um, that's the long range weather forecast discussion for April 10th to the 20th. Thanks for coming, Jim, on this world of weather, and have a good day.